insects. Ugh. Honestly, although I think all life is beautiful and great and everything, I'm not sure I can include insects into that. They're always around being pests and sometimes they're deadly. In today's video, we're talking about 10 dangerous insects alive today. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Giant centipedes can eat prey up to 15 times their body weight. Normal sized centipedes freak me out, but these beasts grow up to 12 inches and live in warm climates in South America, the Caribbean islands, and southern parts of Asia. Can you imagine seeing one of these crawl out from under the couch? Also, for all you wisecrackers out there, we know that a centipede is technically not an insect because they have more than six legs, but they are pretty similar in that way that they operate. Plus, a creepy crawly is a creepy crawly, right? Now, giant centipedes are carnivores and they will prey on frogs, mice, and even snakes. When I was researching for this video, I found an image of one of the creatures trying to take down a cute mouse. I then found the video that this image was taken from, and I don't think you really want to see it. According to biologists, these creatures will also attempt to eat bats. The alarming thing about giant centipedes isn't just what they eat, but how quickly they can take down their prey. They can kill a mouse in just 30 seconds. That's crazy. A bite from a giant centipede is painful to humans. They eat venomous creatures, which plays a huge part in how they're able to kill bigger animals with such ease. Although painful, centipede venom is very unlikely to kill a human. There is one silver lining then. Bullet Ant It's big and it's bad. It's the bullet ant. These ants live in rainforests in Nicaragua, Honduras, and Paraguay and can measure up to 1.2 inches long. Bullet ants are the biggest ants in the world and are named after their painful sting they can deliver, which I'm told feels just like taking a bullet. I'm not keen to test that out, to be honest. It's said that a sting from a bullet ant is 30 times more powerful than a wasp sting and keeps on hurting for at least a full day. It's actually thought that a sting from a bullet ant is the most painful insect sting a human can experience. YouTuber Coyote Peterson aka Brave Wilderness, uploaded a video of him getting stung by the insect. This was his reaction. Ouch! Getting stung by one bullet ant is one thing, but imagine accidentally angering a whole colony of them. In Brazil, the Satare Mawe people use bullet ants as part of tribal initiation. Boys are given handmade gloves filled with the dangerous ants and they have to wear them for a full five minutes. It isn't uncommon for the child to experience temporary paralysis in their arms because of the pain. Fleas Fleas in themselves aren't dangerous. It's what they are carrying that can be. Let's take a trip back to the 14th century when the plague swept through Europe, killing between 30 to 60 percent of the population. The plague was carried by fleas, living on rats, and when they bit humans, they became infected too. Fleas can still carry a whole host of nasty bacteria these days. Even if they aren't carrying anything worrying, flea bites are annoying and can be really distressing to pets. If pets with fleas go untreated, households can suffer infestations, which is something you don't want to experience. Botfly Botflies are awful. They are parasites that live inside mammal hosts, including humans. I'll spare you the removal videos, but there are plenty of them out there. Botflies lay tiny eggs on mosquitoes, which then inject them under the skin of a mammal. The eggs hatch larvae, which then live under an animal's skin, only bursting through when they are mature enough to continue their lives. They then live about 12 days, hoping to mate and then drop more eggs onto more mosquitoes so more spawn can then be incubated under warm-blooded skin. Gross. Well, that's the botfly for you. Botfly parasites are common among humans, but they are even more of a problem for animals who can become infested. Botflies can be found across the Americas, and in some places, including Nanuval in Canada, people eat them. I really would rather not. Africanized bee. 
Also known as the killer bee, these insects are a man-made pest that have killed over 1,000 humans and thousands of horses and other animals. These bees were made by purposefully breeding East African honeybees with Western honeybees, and the results were horrifying. They are a lot more aggressive than regular bees and have been known to chase people for a quarter of and sometimes even a half a mile if they get angry. The bees were created in Brazil to stimulate honey production, but ended up getting loose and invading South America. Some hives have been found in southern Texas. The bees contain similar toxins to other bee variants, but they live in large colonies and are very reactive. If a killer bee gets angry, they are reported to stay angry. <laughs> Kissing bug. Uh-oh, these bugs are a huge problem. Kissing bugs, also known as assassin bugs, are found in the US, Mexico, Central America, and South America. They get their name as they tend to bite people on the mouth, and they feed by sucking their blood. They sound awful, right? If you notice tiny blood stains on your pillow, it could be the aftermath of a kissing bug bite. Bites from kissing bugs can cause allergic reactions, but more worryingly, they can cause Chagas disease. This disease comes from a parasite that is carried by the bug and can happen when people scratch their bites, breaking the skin and allowing feces from the parasite in. Chagas disease kills around 7,000 to 12,000 people each year. The scary thing about this disease is that some people don't develop symptoms for 10 to 30 years. Okay, I did not need a new thing to be scared of. If you see these black and orange bugs, you're advised to capture it by placing a container over it, dousing it in rubbing alcohol, or freezing it, and then calling your local health department. <laughs> driver ant. If driver ants can kill elephants, elephants, can you imagine what they could do to you? Driver ants are not the most deadly ants in the world when they are on their own. In fact, one or two of the insects are pretty harmless. The scary thing about these ants that live in Central and East Africa is that they form massive swarms. They sometimes move in packs of 50 million and can march at around 66 feet an hour. They chomp on everything in their path to make sure they get where they're going. Humans could easily outrun them, but if they were caught sleeping, for example, these ants could pose a real and credible threat. Puss Caterpillar Beware of furry caterpillars, especially in Florida. While these insects look kind of cuddly, like little walking human carpets, they are actually pretty dangerous and can poison you. It's said that a sting from a puss caterpillar can even make your bones hurt, which really does sound like a whole new level of pain. The problem is, even though the creatures look fluffy, they are actually covered in thousands of barbs, which, if they prick you, can deliver an incapacitating poison. Once you get stung, there isn't really too much to do but wait out the intense pain. That has been known in some cases to last for days. Some people are allergic to the caterpillar venom. Dozens of people are hospitalized each year with bad reactions. The puss caterpillar is said to be the most poisonous caterpillar in the States. While they are mostly a problem in Florida, they've also been spotted in Texas and South Carolina. <laughs> Termites. Termites aren't so much dangerous to our health as they are our property. When it comes to buildings or crops, termites can be super destructive. They're also really loud. Termites evolved from cockroaches and now live to wood and make our life misery. Okay, the last part is pretty subjective. But if you've ever had to deal with termites, then I think you would agree. Termites are small and kind of look like whitish brown ants. You'll know they're there if you see little mud tubes by wood structures or little areas of striped paint. The problem is that termites are hungry and can easily gnaw through a whole load of wood. This can often mean that some properties suffer serious structural damage. They also attack plants and trees with high cellulose contents. They especially love sugarcane. Naturally, this means that farmers hate them. Unlucky for pretty much everyone watching this video, termites live everywhere except Antarctica. <laughs> Mosquito. Mosquitoes are the number one most dangerous insect in the world. They aren't big and scary like giant centipedes, and they can't chase you for half a mile like Africanized bees. 
but they are one of the biggest threats to human health in the world. Mosquitoes kill close to a million people each year, with over 600,000 of those deaths attributed to malaria. They also spread West Nile virus, yellow fever, Zika, and dengue fever, which can also be lethal to humans. Over the course of history, mosquitoes have killed billions of people. They've killed more humans than other humans have had in wars. The way these insects kill is by carrying and transporting disease from one infected host to another. While mosquitoes can be found everywhere, mosquito-borne diseases usually affect areas with tropical climates. It is only female mosquitoes that can carry disease, so attempts to sterilize some populations of the insects have taken place. A lot of people wonder why we don't just eradicate all mosquitoes. Firstly, that is easier said than done, and secondly, some scientists worry it would lead to an ecological collapse. So, you can't win. That was the 10 most dangerous insects alive today. What did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments section. How do you feel about insects? Personally, I'm not a fan. Bugs, they gross me out.